I'm gonna be taking all five kids to the library. We have a lot of school stuff to get done there. And Mike has a little story he wants to tell about an accident he had. So we are on our way to the library because I have to meet up with our teacher which is a part of the charter school. Every other month we meet in person, I kind of go over what the kids are doing for school and if I have any questions or if there's any testing coming up and then we'll just hang out at the library, maybe find some fun books. Jeremiah has his first day of swim school. about this new add-on for our Lindsay home couch. We have been getting a lot of comments from you guys. You're wondering how well this couch has been holding up to a family of seven. And I do wanna give you a five month update. But first, let's get this box out of the way and then we're gonna give you an update on what happened to Mike's eye. Our kids use this couch every single day, all five of them. They're constantly on it. They absolutely love the storage that this couch provides. We put all of our games in here. We put our projector and our electronics and like- Blankets. Blankets. So far we have no stains on the couch. If there are stains, it's easy to just wash off, wipe off, or you could take the couch covers off and throw it in the washer, but we haven't done that yet. It seems to be holding up pretty well for the last five months. Because it's a modular couch and it can come into pieces and be moved around, the kids do move these pieces yeah. around a lot and use them a lot. Yeah. So they're constantly being like messed with. And the kids do a really good job. Like they're very comfortable with taking this thing apart and then getting stuff out of it and putting the couch back together. After five months, the couch still looks brand new and we absolutely love that it is a modular couch because today we are gonna be adding a new section to it and we are very excited to see how it looks and how it's gonna turn out.
already love the way this looks. The couch is very long. We can't go any further that way. And we can't go any further this way because we got the wall right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out one of these sections and what you can do with it is you can add it to either side of the couch and you have a nice backy, make the couch a little longer on one side. And so we're gonna condense the couch right now and piece this in. The couch looks so good. It's very cute and it fits. It's really nice to have cup holders. And I would say my favorite, don't look in my eye, but I would say my favorite thing is the power outlet that we get right here. Because we do not have power on this wall. We did have power on there, but our couch covered it. But now we're able to connect this to the wall and then we can charge our phones. We could. Uh, be on our laptops really helps out in this room to have that extra outlet there and we're not wasting that outlet on the wall all right let's get to mike's story about his eye all right all right you guys so i was just driving and minding my own business and i saw this elderly lady trying to cross the street okay and basically i was just being a good samaritan and then okay no that's not what happened <laughs> all right you know, this guy was trash talking me. <laughs> you should see the other guy. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. For reals this time. Um, I was playing basketball the other night and I went up to go get a rebound. If you don't know what a rebound is, I can't help you. <laughs> but I went up for a rebound and so did another guy. And when he came down, his elbow hit me right here. And instantly I saw like a golf ball on the side of my eye. Like I knew something bad happened, I felt and I wasn't bleeding or anything. But it's, it was so weird because the, it was swollen right here. And then um, within five minutes I was able to get ice on it. So that was really good, then the swelling went down. And then the next morning, so I, I don't know how bruising works, but I got elbowed right here and it looks a lot better there than it does anywhere else. But that's what happened and Savannah keeps telling me I need to stop playing basketball, but I know you keep you know, coming home I can't with give new <laughs> injuries. I've had way worse injuries. Yeah. Broken ankles, fingers. split open lips, uh, fingers. broken fingers, but it's worth yeah. it. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys, that is it for this week. But next week, Savannah is going in for her first ultrasound. We are actually all gonna be going in and it's gonna be exciting because we're gonna be able to see the baby on a screen and all that fun stuff. And they're actually gonna find out the gender too. That's exciting stuff. And we will see you guys next Saturday.